Okay, you guys, let's play a game. All right. Now I blew this thumbnail up nice and big for you. We're going to play a game. Man or woman? Man or woman? Quick, tell me. Quick, quick. Man or woman? And this pink, this beautiful, my favorite color, pink. <laughs> Which one? Are you ready? Do you want another reveal? Let's put down here. Let's pull the page down. You think you got your answer? Hold on. Let me get to it for you. Ding! A man with long hair and makeup is what? This is the way the world's going. This is your your change agent phenomena of people that have entered into every area of influence to turn the tide of a group of people on this planet that are doing the same thing that was done in the book of Judges, where every man went his own way to determine what is right and what is wrong, what is good and what is not profitable. And so you can kind of see that same phenomena. I mean, it's happened for a long time, but when you have all the industry leaders, for example, in on it, and they're pushing this as hard as they can from an advertising PR perspective onto the masses, uh, that kind of takes a little bit of a different, how do you want to put that? The, the, the scope of it is bigger. The, the the change for getting into the fabric of society and basically preparing all people everywhere that you're God, right? This is Crowley. Only you're not God. You're just a fake, fakey, fakington God. But this is Crowley. This is what Hollywood wants. This is this is the 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 de the default set that mankind outside of Jesus Christ has. I'm the one who's running the show. When in all reality, you're just running up a sin tab. But anyhow, I, I do really enjoy this channel and I wanna show you another one too, but let's go in and see what they've done here. To, to warp and change reality and to impregnate the hearts and minds of people all over that you're God and you can do whatever you want. But they never attach to that, that there's a consequence. And this is why the world hates Christians, because what Christians say is, look, you can go ahead and you can do that. You can make that choice. But there's a price tag attached to that. And one day payday is coming. You know, there's a consequence attached to each action in the spiritual realm, just like there is in the material realm, exactly from science. So Josh Sparrow. Hey everyone, hey brothers and sisters. Received a comment this morning about that transgender model, Valentina Sempeo. Wade here says, Valentina Sempeo is actually quite sexy and no, I'm definitely not gay or into men. And I respond that you're attracted to a male with long hair and makeup. I've done a video about this person. I agree that they look like a female, but they're not, they're a man. They do the one eye symbol and the Osiris risen pose. and. So what Wade said here, he's not gay, but he finds this person sexy. And this is a man. This is a man with makeup, maybe some cosmetic surgery or hormones. I don't know. But this is a transgender person that's out to let you know they're a transgender person. Wade should be concerned that he's attracted to a man. <laughs> that it's an abomination to God. It goes against our natural ways. In this fallen world run by Satan, it may seem normal and everyone's like, you're judgmental if you don't accept everything. But no, Wade's comment concerns me. He finds a man with long hair and makeup sexy. Part of Satan's deception is this, is perverting God's natural way and the family. 
There is agendas being pushed, the gay agenda, the trans agenda, the take God, Jesus Christ out of the world agenda. Mm -hmm. It's been going on since day one. Mm -hmm. My brothers and sisters, use your discernment. Stay strong in the truth of Jesus. Know that we're living in a fallen world and we don't have much time left, so stand up for Jesus. Help people like to snap out of it, you know, they need to snap out of the world. The deceptions in the world are great. And I'm not just going to go quietly and be accepting of Satan's ways. I'm going to expose the darkness and stand up for God. God bless you. Well done, Josh. Well, well done. Wow. Trippy, right? And God's word actually tells us that we are to expose evil. There is this thing that happens where if you are ambivalent, if you stop caring, <laughs> um, you, you are picking a side when you do that. The world would have you to believe that everything is just fine and dandy. You can be neutral no problem. Everything's great. But in all reality, when you're ambivalent, you're on the side of evil because God cares about this stuff. God cares about people. God cares about right and wrong. Yeah. So we are called to expose darkness so that we can give people an opportunity to run to Jesus. And what's happening is there's this silencing. This, you shut up, Christian. Nobody wants to hear you. And they're talking for 7 billion people. And believe it or not, some of them want to know the truth. So this is why we continue expressing the truth. And the truth is in Jesus Christ, the great sin eater, as I call him. The one who takes our sins upon himself. And he makes a born again new people for a new forever existence with him. And we're not going to shut up. We're going to continue telling the truth until we don't have breath to do it anymore. So um, let's pray for this soul because God loves this soul. You know, we need to make sure that people understand that, that God is for people repenting of their sins and coming to him. Now, when they start getting into careers where they're making millions of dollars, that starts to become a little more difficult because of the idolatry factor where People will worship money as their God so they can get their own way, so they can do what they want. And in all reality, one of these days when their soul peels off from their body, they will be held to account for all of those sins in a most unpleasant eternity. Now, one of my other really favorite channels, I love this guy. When he puts out a new video, Trans Apocalypse Now, it feels like I'm opening a birthday present or something. I love his work. Because he goes in and shows me where the Babylonian witchcraft comes from. What, what did they do? Things that the Bible assumes you already know that never seems to get much traction or ed backstory education in the churches that a lot of people who are really into the Bible, um, we want to know this information. And so I really, really esteem this gentleman, Mr. E., with a great deal of respect and everything that he brings to just about probably 99.999% of what he brings to light. I find to be fascinating. I find it to show the cohesive nature of scripture where we have been. So shall we be where we have been with people in uh, hatred for God and the things of God, worshiping the same entities as back then, back in the day when the Bible was written by the prophets through the Holy Spirit is exactly what we're seeing happen now. And it all just goes together. You kind of just sit back and marvel. At least I do. I like this information. So let's go to Trans Apocalypse Now's channel. Go give him love. Both of them. Okay. We are the people, we as artists are the people that get to change the molecular structure of the hearts and minds of the people who live on this planet. Now the human beings on your planet are merely a resource waiting to be converted into capital. 
And this entire enterprise is just a small part in a vast and beautiful machine defined by evolution, designed to a single purpose. <laughs> Whoa! Hello there. <laughs> We're going to call you Lily. <laughs> I want to sketch you. Lily. We should go out tonight. Give them something different. Lily. You're exquisite. <laughs> something different. Hold up. And, a, and desert creatures shall meet with hyenas. I know this scripture. And a goat demon shall call to his neighbor. And surely their Lily shall repose. And she shall find a resting place for herself, that the owl shall nest and lay and catch and care for her chicks in the shadow. And surely there the birds of prey shall be gathered, each one with her mate. Lexham English Bible. Never heard of it. This is a little different and strange to my ears than how I know the King James or the New King James but this is um, really interesting. Let's keep going. Lily, you're exquisite. <laughs> you're different from most girls. I feel I'd need to ask your permission before I kissed you. There was a moment when I was just... Lily. But Lily doesn't exist. We were playing a game. A game. <laughs> they were playing a game. If people understood one thing, that this is not about a game. See, it's this Ishtar. It's this Anana. It's this Babylonian worship of the divine androgyne, the Hishi. He talks about so much in video after video after video. Doesn't exist. We were playing a game. So I think Lily's thoughts. A dream. Her dreams. She was always there. The fact is, I believe that I'm a woman. And I believe it too. You are not your body. You are an extension of the power that created the whole universe. That's drag. This is not my body. I have to let him go. I love you because you're the only person who made sense of me. Who made me possible? My mother made me understand that every human society is a pyramid and that some lives will always matter more than others. And it's better to accept this than to pretend it isn't true. We are all God in drag, and that is a radical thought for most people to, uh, to envelop because uh, the ego says, no, I'm whatever it says I am on my driver's license. No, you are bigger than that. And that's why, that's why uh, it can never really, the bigger story behind drag can never really be mainstream. The deeper level, no, we're, everyone in this room is in drag. We are the people, we as artists are the people that get to change the molecular structure of the hearts and minds of the people who live on this planet. Please don't ever stop doing that. Please don't ever stop telling the truth. Everybody's in drag. Yay. Hey, look at all you drag queens. Hi, drag queens. <laughs> You're playing for eternity. You're playing for eternity. You just don't realize it. Most of the earth doesn't realize 
you're going to exist in one of two places, in a marriage with God or in a divorce with God, in the bliss of heaven and a new earth, like Revelation 21 says, or in a fiery pit for the garbage of the earth, the infection that refused the the cure with a worm blanket. Worm, not warm, although it will be very hot because God is going to punish evil. Why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't a God, a good God, punish evil after it's told him no how many times? 